Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to download and install Java JDK 13 on Windows 10, okay? So let's start. So let me minimize this file first, okay? So just open your web browser. I'm opening my Google Chrome, okay? And you have to open this website, google.com, okay? And you have to do a search for Java JDK 13 download, okay? So let me do that. Java JDK 13 download okay and here we have this first link java se development kit 13 downloads from oracle.com so just click on this link okay and here we have the downloads page opened okay you can see java se development kit 13 downloads you have to scroll down okay you can see java se development kit 13.0.2 this is the latest version right now okay and here we have this message you must accept the oracle technology a network license agreement for oracle java se to download this software okay so uh, just click on this link and read the license agreement over here okay and if you agree so i agree this okay so i need to click on this accept license agreement okay so let me click on this you can see thank you for accepting the oracle technology network license agreement for oracle java se you may now download this software okay so here we have you know this software for various operating systems like linux mac and windows okay and guys uh, we are using windows 10 so we need to come over here okay so this is only available for windows 10 64 bit systems it, it's you know not available for 32 bit okay so uh, you can see we have you know this executable file over here and we have this chip file okay so just i'm i'm you know downloading this executable file so let me click on this okay so we need to wait okay you can see i have this you know window so it's asking me where you want to save this executable okay of you know this jdk 13.0.2 so i want to save it on my desktop so let me click on this to select that okay and after that let me click on this save button okay and you can see guys at the bottom you know left of my chrome browser it's you know downloading so we need to wait for that okay and you can see guys the file has been downloaded okay so let me go to my desktop you can see i have this executable downloaded okay so in order to run this you have to double click on this okay so let me double click on this executable okay so it's you know processing so we need to wait okay you can see preparing to install and i have this you know wizard opened welcome to the installation wizard for java nc development kit 13.0.2 okay so just click on this next button okay and this is the location where it will be installed okay you can see uh, C program files Java JDK 13.0.2 okay so I don't want to change this okay if you want to change this just click on this change button and you can change this you know path over here okay so I don't want to change this so let me click on this cancel okay so I'm leaving this as default and after that just click on this next button okay you can see the status so it's you know installing so we need to wait for that And you can see guys, I have this message, Java SE Development Kit 13.0.264 bit successfully installed, okay. So just click on this close button, okay. So it's now installed. And if I open my this PC, go to my C drive, go to my program files, okay. And here I have this Java folder, okay. So let me open this. You can see I have this JDK 13.0.2 folder over here, okay. So let me minimize this so it's now installed okay now let me move this executable over here okay so if i open my command prompt okay so let me click on this search box and let me do a search for cmd okay and here i have this command prompt tab let me click on this to open it it's now opened and if i type this command java space dash version and hit enter key on the keyboard you can see i have this message java is not recognized as an internal or external command okay uh, operable program or batch file okay and also if i type this uh, java c that is java compiler and hit enter you can see i have this same message okay so we need to set up environment variable 
uh, in order to you know work this so let me close the command prompt okay so in order to set up an environment variable we need to open the control panel first okay so just click on this search box and just do a search for control panel and here i have this control panel app just click on this to open it okay and you can see guys i have this category selected so if you have this large icons or small icons selected make sure you select this category over here okay and after that you need to click on this system and security and after that you need to click on this system okay and here we have the advanced system settings this link click on it okay and here we have the advanced tab selected just click on this environment variables this button and here we have the system variables okay so under this you need to find this path uh, variable okay and then you need to click on this to select that okay and then you need to click on this edit button okay and after that you need to uh, go to your you know this uh, you know drive where you have your you know uh, java jdk you know installed so let me open my program files c drive program files let me open my java folder let me open this jdk folder and let me open this bin folder okay so you have to copy this path to bin folder let me minimize this okay and you have to go to this edit environment variable this window okay and then you have to click on this new button and you have to paste that path over here okay and after that you need to click on this ok button and then again ok button and then again ok button and you can close this window okay so let me open the command prompt again and let's see whether it's working or not okay so let me click on this search box and let me do a search for cmd and here i have this command prompt tab let me click on this to open it you can see it's opened and let me type that command java space dash version and hit enter key on the keyboard so it's you know processing you can see guys a java version 13.0.2 is installed java sc runtime environment okay and also let me type this java c that is the java compiler hit enter key on the keyboard you can see i have this output okay and also if i type this java c space dash version okay and hit enter key on the keyboard you can see java compiler version is 13.0.2 okay so guys that's it let me close this command prompt window so guys that's it in this way you can easily download and install java jdk 13 on windows 10 so thanks for watching if you like my videos please support this channel by subscribing to it thanks bye bye